on the Porsche 928 wide body build. And today we're putting together the polycarbonate buck for the rear quarter panel. That means we're gonna be making the rear quarter panel from scratch with flat steel that we have in stock here. Now, this time we chose polycarbonate over plywood because, well, it's stiffer and honestly cheaper now for the thickness that we wanted. In a previous video, you might remember when I modeled the pieces for this. Now it's time to put this puzzle together. Tony watch this. Tony hates the hand hammer. <laughs> yeah, so far it looks good. Filing out the corners. I'm not doing that. That's too much time. We're way beyond that now. Yeah, I'll, I'll plane it down. It'll be faster than filing the corners out. Yep. Wait until five minutes into this video, and you'll get to see Ryan wishing he had filed it out <laughs> and deburred. <laughs> this is taking True. forever. All right, so we have the buck assembled now. Next, I'm going to sand it to a smooth profile. I know these base vertical pieces are exact to where I want them to be. These outer ones, because of the way that it interlocks, are pushed a little bit out. So I'm just gonna carve it down now to match these and kind of radius some things and smooth it out. And then we'll be ready to start shaping some metal. I'm about it. Dude, this thing is freaking dense. It's incredible. When we're done shaving this down, yeah, you gotta weigh. We're gonna weigh it. I'm gonna. We're gonna take bets. Just, just comment below as you're watching the video right now. Stop. Scroll down. Comment below what you think this polycarbonate buck weighs, and we'll see who's the winner. We'll see who guesses the closest. You can fit so many of your wife's throw blankets in this bad boy. You can fit so many shoes in this bad boy. Just think of all the foot long subway subs you can fit in this thing. <laughs> All right, so if you have entered in your guess in the comments below, now is the time to find out how much the buck weighs. And we're gonna, we're gonna make this a little more interesting. This time, I'm thinking what we could do is whoever guesses closest to the correct weight between Tony and I gets to make the other person act out the skit that's gonna be right after this clip. Sounds great. I'm putting in my protest now that I showed up over here and the idea for weighing it and the scale were here before I got here. So if he's too close, you know, I, I might have grounds for a dismissal. Do you have a number of mine? Um, let me pick it up one more time. I think the I think what we should do is write down our numbers and give them to Logan. Oh uh, yeah. Otherwise we're gonna influence each other. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly 90 pounds. What are you going to do today, Ryan? Whatever you make me do. Gosh. You know, back in 82, I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Are you serious? Dead serious. Watch this. What the heck was that for? That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Tina, you fat lard. Look at 
get some dinner. Is that yours? It's Uncle Rico's Napoleon. Don't touch it. Are you ready? Yeah. Turn it off! Nick Hughes! Turn it off! Turn it off! I could have told you that. Alright, I need a volunteer. Okay, you'll do. Come up here. I'm gonna give you one chance. One chance, people. Give me your best shot. So now the next move is to make a pattern. So now I need to do, just like we did with the front fender, and need to plot out this. I think I'm gonna try to do one piece. It's gonna be a lot of shrinking. That, or I do I do the slant nose, go center of the arch, do this piece. Center of the arch, do that. Yeah, I probably should do that. What do you think, Logan? Yes. You heard the man. We got 19 gauge AKDQ quality steel, which is aluminum killed drawing quality, which is basically steel made for stamping. So it's like a lot softer and it doesn't get hard on the shelf. Um, I'm excited to shape with this because I've shaped with it in classes before, but we could not source it locally until now. We found where to get it and that, that just tickles me. It tickles me. Uh, yeah, now I gotta get it out of here. My reading of this panel is, I'm gonna try to go off the center line here. This is the most, this is like, this right here is form. This curve right here. So I'm gonna go off this, this curve, which means up here needs to shrink, back here needs to shrink, back here needs to shrink, maybe a little bit here. But like, look how square that is. Yeah. I eyeballed, I guessed what was square. I didn't measure it, I mean, if I measured it, it'd be off, but it looks straight. <laughs> so I think it would go like right there. And I can put Clico through, through this panel. Look at that. I'm not even pushing on it. And it's pretty close to where it needs to be. It's time to start wheeling it out and cleaning up some of this stuff.
you're running for the win. Anyway, so the quarter panel here, I have the front, I have the front, and I have the rear roughed in. It's like 90% there. Right here, I think it's a little high yet. Um, I'm gonna address that later. For now, we're gonna keep moving forward and we're gonna make the rear half here. Now let's go over to the car and I'm gonna talk about this more. On the rear end here, we have this air outlet on the back end of the quarter panel that blends into the bumper. So the idea here is to make this piece and the, this outside shell and the lip here where it curls around that will then get welded to the original quarter panel underneath. Make that separate and then potentially make the flat and this be part of the diffuser as a separate piece. So we're not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna pull the pattern, get this piece made and then we're going to go and locate it on the quarter panel and then we'll move to the wheel arch itself and get that marked. Oh, no! No! I knew it was gonna happen. Did you get that? Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> My Pretty folly. Much. When one door closes, another opens. It's pretty cute. Look at that guy, look at that guy, look at him, wow! All right, so I'm pretty happy with how the quarter panel turned out. It's like, I don't know, 85% there. It's not perfectly straight yet, um, but I do like how it fits. I did, ended up doing it in four pieces, which is a little more pieces than I wanted to initially, but I decided to do it that way just because it's a little bit more manageable. So next up, um, before we can actually weld the stuff together, we're gonna be, you know, scribing it, cutting it, butt welding it, not lap welding it, all these things. We can't do that yet until we have the wheels and suspension so we can locate this wheel arch, just like up from the front fender. So we're stuck there for now. Up next, we're gonna do the rockers, the rear spoiler, stuff with the rear bumper. There's a lot of work to get to do. So check back later for more on this build and let us know in the comments below what you are most excited to see us work on on this vehicle, whether it be uh, headlight modifications or the rockers or even just how we weld stuff together and finish out those welds so they're not warpy and all those things. Let us know in the comments below. And also we've noticed a huge influx in the past couple weeks on our channel of the growth. We've like gone up like 2,000 subscribers since the last video, which is pretty phenomenal because that's like 15% more or whatever. That's my quick math and Tony's probably gonna tell me I'm wrong. But either way, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you keep sharing this with your friends because thanks to you guys, we've had this growth and we appreciate it. So. We'll catch you guys next Sunday.